Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics and really interesting exponential equation today 4 to the x equal to 1 of x. How can we solve this problem? In this video I'm going to fully explain you how can we solve this problem easily and step by step. First of all let's rewrite this question right here. So we have 4 to the power x equal to 1 over x. Okay, what are we going to do next? Take a look closely. Really interesting trick. Let's raise both sides to the power 1 over x. Okay, so right here raising both sides to the power 1 1 over x. Here is our trick. Let's do this. So right here we have 4 to the power x. We raise this to the power 1 over x, yeah, and equal to 1 over x to the power 1 over x. Okay, we just raise in both sides to the power 1 over x. Why we raise this? Because right here, really interesting moment. If you know a little bit about power rules, exactly this rule, if you have a to the power m, raised to the power n, we can easily write it as a to the power m times n. Okay, so we can easily multiply this both both powers. So it's really important rule for us. So right now let's apply this rule right here in this in this case. So we have x times 1 over x, which gives us only 1. So as a result, on the left hand side we have only 1. So only 4 equal to 1 over x to the power 1 over x. Okay, 1 over x to the power 1 over x. Okay, let's rewrite this expression right here. So we have, oh, let's swap position right here. This 1 over x and to the power 1 over x. Let's write on the left hand side. So we have 1 over x to the power 1 over x equal to, right here we have, we have 4. Okay, but really interesting moment right now. How can we solve this, this expression right here? We have the same base and the same exponent. This is maybe the key moment right here. And I hope you see this. So right here we have the same base and same exponent. And we can easily express this 4 with the same logic. So the same base and same exponent. But how can we do this? Of course, 2 to the power 2. So we have 1 to over x to the power 1 over x equal to 4. So 4, we can write it as 2 to the power to the power 2. And right here, take a look closely, the same base, same exponent on the left hand side. Same base, same exponent on the left hand side. And one and only way that this equation will have roots is when base equal to base and exponent equal to equal to exponent. In our case, we have both absolutely the same thing. So we can easily write that 1 over x equal to 2. So for those who don't understand, if we have a to the power a equal to b to the power b, if you have something like that, if you have expression like that. So from here, only way that this equation will have roots when a equal to when a equal to b. Okay? So in our case, a and a right here, b and b right here. So a equal to b, 1 over, over x equal to 1 over x equal to equal to 2. From here, let, we can easily find it. So cross multiplication to x equal to 1 and from here x equal to x equal to 1 half. We can easily check this rule real quick, check this root. So we have 4 to the power 1 half equal to 1 over 1 over 2. Okay, so 4 to the power 1 half, which gives us square root of 4, obviously. So from here we have square root of 4 equal to, so 1 over 1 half gives us 2. Yeah, so this 2 goes right here. So there are a lot of tricks. So I usually I bring this denominator to our numerator and we can easily write this as 2. So right here we have 2, which is absolutely correct. So our correct answer is 1 half. And for those who are interested in, in uh, graphs right here, so we can easily write, uh, we can easily draw a graph real quick right here. Yeah. So right here we have 4 to the x. This is our exponential function. Yeah. This is our exponential function. And 1 over x, this is like two lines right here, a first line. Yeah. And right here we have second line. But these lines does not intersect with this axis, x and x and y. So right here x right here y, so right here this is our 1 over x, the first uh, line, and right here this is our second line of 1 over x, and this is our 4 to the x, which implies that right here we have only one point of intersection, because this part of line does not inter does not exist in this part, okay? So this is, uh, uh, this is um, the part right here, and right here we have only, only one point of intersection, which gives us only one, one half, so only one point of intersection is is right here. Okay? So I hope you understand this explanation. I hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of videos. So with that being said, see you in the next videos. Have a great day. And if this video is helpful in any way, don't forget to like and subscribe and that definitely helped me out for this particular video. So see you in the next videos and thank you for your support.